Maybe the best break zero gun, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, this is so good. So hello gamers and welcome back to another video. Now I'm streaming live right now and somebody actually told me in the chat that there's new changes and there is a lot of new PDW changes. So we're gonna get into it right now, but make sure to like and subscribe if you're new, subscribe and so close to 100K. 1 million percent of people aren't subscribed to my channel. Trust me, bro, just trust me. The MP5K now has 300 less muzzle velocity and does 34 to 17 instead of 30 to 17. So yes, higher recoil, but the recoil has the new system, so. It goes up and then stays still. This is, why is this good? So basically the MP5K has significantly reduced velocity down to 1200, which is really bad, but it does have a three hit kill. And I think 10 mil also has a two hit kill to the head again. However, it has 900 velocity and even more recoil. So now default MP5K is going to be maybe the best break zero gun. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Next gun is the M3A1. Now, apparently this gun has some really interesting stats now. So now it does 52 to 25. Basically, now it has a two hit kill limb instead of a two hit kill only if you're hitting torso shots. However, before it was basically always a two hit kill anyway, but now it will literally always be a two hit kill. The muzzle velocity is down from 1500 to 900. So very reduced muzzle velocity and I'm guessing it has more recoil. No, it has no recoil. Okay, but this velocity is terrible. The frick? It does have a 1.2 torso multi, so it has, I think, about a hundred stud, two hit kill torso range, and still like a 70 stud, 80 stud, two hit kill to the limb range. So now I think the M3A1 is actually getting a buff, which is really cool. I think the M3A1 was already really great. Let's see. The yep, it still has perfect hip fire. But now, um, yeah, do not use it past three feet away because this muzzle velocity is terrible but next up we have the chris vector now the vector already we talked about some of the changes with it however it looks like it might have gotten even more changes oh my gosh yeah it does 41 damage and it has 960 velocity let's see the recoil oh my gosh it has a lot of recoil wait this reload is interesting Oh my gosh, wait, Vector is back, guys. So it doesn't have that weird, like, only side-to-side -side recoil that it had for a bit. But the Vector now has 960 velocity instead of 1700, so the velocity is really, really bad. But the close-range damage is great, and that should give it probably 50 stud, maybe 55 stud, 3-hit kill range, which is really, really good. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I think I might be running this gun again. High recoil, worse velocity, so you can't really kill people over range with it as well, but up close, this is gonna be insane. It can 2-hit kill head, which is really good, and 3-hit kill range is not bad on it at all but it's not like the old vector where you could beam people from like 150 studs away which i guess that makes sense i'm gonna miss it a little bit but this is a new version of brain sight still doesn't seem too bad i mean like you can make shots hit but the velocity is terrible they didn't make hollow point a two shot it almost is but it's not so that's good i guess and 9 by 19 now does 32 to 19 and still doesn't have great recoil but if you do want a larger magazine it can still almost three hit but it can't so i don't really recommend this not gonna lie 357 sig now does 45 to 23 with a torso multi so yeah this can now two hit kill with the torso in close range that is good that is really really good it does have terrible recoil but the reload time is really fast as well so we might see vector 357 sig become really good I'm not gonna lie, this time to kill is going to be maybe too good. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna kill in 0 0.05 seconds to the body. Which is, <laughs> as you can probably tell right now, it's very good. And 22 now does 25 to 14 with a three times headshot multi. And it has a 20 red bag. They just made 22 good. 22 now does 75 headshot. 75! And it's a... Uh, 42 to the to the head at, at range this is good and it has a 20 round mag now did they just make 22 like a, a viable oh my gosh they made it good they made 22 actually viable as ridiculous okay well 22 is actually good now next gun up is the ump 45 this does 45 with a 1.15 torso multi so the ump 45 can two hit kill to the torso however the bullet velocity is really bad it is really, really bad. So this has kind of turned it from really nice all around range UMP type of thing. Like before it was great for longer ranges. Now it's not going to be as good. Also, this revamp is weird. It's some like uncanny valley like 
Mandela effect type map, dude. I'm not going to lie. You can still 5 hit kill at range if you're hitting torsos, but yeah, this is going to be mostly a close range map weapon now. But recoil still seems pretty good. It is a little bit worse from what I can tell for sure, but it's not really that much worse, which is nice. And it does have 40 Smith & Wesson, which does 40 to 18 with only 1100 velocity and 740 RPM. So if you want no two hit kill, but really high RPM for a UMP, uh, 40 Smith & Wesson, it's seeming pretty interesting. Yeah, still has terrible range, but this actually might not be bad. Yeah, I used to not like 40 Smith & Wesson, but I'm liking this RPM now. It just feels so weird for UMP to shoot this fast, but it seems pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Next gun up is the P90. So now the P90 does 24 with a torso multi, so it can still four hit down to 17. It has 2350 muzzle velocity and less pen. And it has a recoil pattern now? Wait, and it has 1100 RPM. Pretty sure this gun used to not have 1100 RPM. So yeah, 1100 RPM on this is gonna make it not bad. Oh my gosh, I already know the recoil pattern now. Normally it's like that, but you can make it pretty much non-existent for that recoil. And the velocity is still really good. And the pen is still really good. This is definitely a P90 buff overall, in my opinion. That seems really good. So it does 30 to 18. Um, weird recoil for sure. But did it have a fast? Oh my gosh. They were just a reload time. That's great. And it has a torso multi. So it can't three hit kill with this, but it can get pretty close to a three hit kill. And maybe you can run the, uh, oh my gosh. MP7 fans rejoice. This is actually going to be a good gun now. I'm not going to lie. Recoil feels a little iffy on it, but the reload time is the big thing that the MP7 really struggled with, and I think this will make the gun a lot better. A lot, a lot better. Because, man, the MP7 reload was like 2.5 seconds or something ridiculous. Now it's 1.9, which is a lot faster. So. Yeah, this is actually good. I won't lie to you. The long barrel just seems like it's a direct upgrade as well. It does give you worse handling, but it gives you better overall range, both max and min. And it looks like it gives you maybe better recoil. Uh, I think it's about the same. It's not like the squad barrel. Okay, so you just use long barrel on any gun that has it now. MP5 slash 10. So this now does 47 to 30 studs with a torso multi. So it can two hit kill. That recoil is terrible. Might not be as good. I'm not going to lie. I think this is one of the guns that didn't need this. But yeah, we'll, we'll see if it's good. So the two hit kill torso is good. The muzzle velocity is only 1400, which is still good in comparison to some of these new guns, but not as good. But the recoil doesn't seem great, but it doesn't seem terrible either. I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel like a, wait, what? You can't, this is an unbreakable window now? Who did this? Who at Silas Studios decided to make those unbreakable? I don't know, dude. So the min damage on it is 21 with a torso multi, so it's still going to be 5 hit kill at range. Uh, it can't 4 hit kill unless you're hitting headshots. It doesn't have a better headshot multi, but I'm not going to lie. That is still really good. I don't know if I like it as much because I feel like this gun, when it was more accurate, was better, but still, it's very good. MP5 is the next gun. This does 34 to 50 studs, but it does have that reduced muscle velocity. And it looks like higher recoil, but it doesn't seem that bad with the new recoil. I'm not going to lie. And I'm using, I'm using plus P. Keep that in mind. I think this actually might be overall MP5 buff. It has a good three hit kill range now. And uh, the velocity is nowhere near as good as it used to be, but recoil doesn't seem bad. MP5 SD. So this does 37 now. Okay, so it can two hit kill head. The three hit kill range isn't nearly as good and it does do less damage over range and has less bullet velocity. But I think having that two hit kill head is actually going to make these two guns have differences, which is cool. And the velocity isn't that much worse than the base MP5. And I'm guessing, oh my gosh, it has no recoil. But yeah, these uh, guns are actually balanced now. I would say overall the MP5 SD actually might be the better one of the two because I prefer that two hit kill head the three hit kill range is going to be pretty similar. It's just going to have what looks like worse handling as well. I don't know. Both of these guns don't handle as well. PPSH. Now, they already changed this one before, so I want to see what they give it. Okay, 1600 muzzle velocity. And I think other than that, it's the same. They just reduced the velocity. Yeah, it already had 1250 uh, RPM and 24 damage. They didn't change the ranges at all, just the velocity. But I guess the PPSH was already really good, so... This feels really good still. I'm not going to lie. It just has worse bullet velocity and looks like they didn't really change anything else. Next up, Uzi. Lower velocity. Okay, 1300 velocity. 
what else? So it does 35 Oh my gosh, they didn't change anything. Just the bullet velocity, really? Yeah, okay. And it has like... Worse recoil? Why does it go up and down, bro? So they just made the Uzi worse. Everybody knows that the Uzi was such a beloved gun that everybody loved and used all the time. I don't know, dude. Buff this gun. I would say buff the damage. I don't know. It's fine. The gun's fine, but they didn't really change anything. They just made it have recoil that goes up and down. I guess overall it has less kick to it, so it might be better recoil-wise overall. I don't know. L2A3 now does 36 to 24. That's the same. Okay, so the L2A3, I don't think they've actually added any changes to it yet. It also has lower bullet velocity. Yeah, so MP40 I think is probably going to get a change. It just has lower bullet velocity for right now, but hopefully they... Um, Give it a buff in some other way because it definitely needs something and i've just been told that, that the mp5 k 10 mil just got a change okay it does 48 now awesome with no torso multi though so it does have very very high damage that's very interesting because yeah i felt like before when it did 36 uh, i was like why don't you just use default like two hit kill head is nice but i think most people are going to prefer the default ammo for better bullet velocity and stuff but yeah 10 mil looks good uh default looks good i feel like the mp5k might end up being a really good smg like before it was it was still pretty good but i'm talking like top tier i don't know that reload time is fast the rpm is fast the ttk is really good so yeah overall really interesting first grouping on the mp5k10 i forgot it had that i was like does it have a burst mode 49.6 with a torso multi if you run burst that is good i'm i have it on semi oops Okay, this is going to be a really, really good burst for close range because it has great handling. Although I probably won't use it because weird, weird burst, but it, it is really, really good. The fact that it can two hit kill basically limb is kind of insane. I won't lie to you. This stuff is all subject to change. Obviously, it's all in the, the uh, test place right now, but I think it's going somewhere very interesting with the SMGs. I feel like the SMGs are about to become more of an SMG role, but really good for close range and then not really have the most velocity to run medium range anymore as much. Yeah, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe if you're new, but I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Have a nice day.